Okay, so I was in the middle of something else, but I got to do this now. So what I'm going to be doing this session is for simulation, I've got a little bit of a problem. I'm not really properly returning error code. Like I, I'm, there's no possibility. When creating simulations, there is no case for like created functionality to ever return an error code. Like I failed to create for some reason, whatever it may be. And so like that error code is, is just, or any errors like that just disappear into the ether as well as when de initializing items or if an initialization fails halfway through, if I find it here, here, if it fails halfway through, it just goes and tries to de initialize everything, which also doesn't really fit with what I want to do. I want to keep a pretty good, lock down lock on uh, everything that's going on i want to make sure everything is pretty accurate so this isn't going to fly from now on i need to a for like rich yeah for like these functions I need to return error codes and i need to tighten up what's going on in the simulation system i've been playing fast and loose with it for far too long so to begin with these functions need to return stuff like that great um, I also need to change on the simulation. This can no longer return that. Add dual maps. Da, 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 star pp simulation state. And that needs to return an error code. It, error code. Instead. So what happens on the create side here? Right here. This is... Whoa. Okay, we got that. We got a standard error code, which is simulation success. Just how this is going to roll. We want to return that. Okay, so mm, simulation state equals new sim state dot release. And then we want to return error code instead. Mm -hmm. I think so. So M registered, registered. Okay. This. Mm, okay. This should be the same. Let's move that up. Editor names if requested. Okay. Otherwise, we're down here. I want to change this up. So what's in the registered should be... I have a scope lock, right? For everything. Yes. Yes, I do. So instead of going through uh, this... What is it? The range system. I'm actually going to be keeping track of that instead. So equals like m registered dot end like that or sorry not end begin and we've got to end it uh, auto const const end iterator and register dot end so what I want to do is go through four iterator uh that iterator not equal the end iterator plus plus iterator iterator dot on creates is that and we have to get an error code error code equals this if there's an error If there's an error code, then we need to do something where we say, hey, there's, uh, then we need a break. Okay, not 
quite. If error code, so if we reach this point and there's an error code, that means there's an error code at this point, and we need to walk back the. was created so far. So we start at iterator and move backwards. So for that where iterator is greater than or equal to m register dot begin minus minus iterator. Oh, is this gonna break? on Windows. I think it will. On debug mode at least. I'll deal with that later. I just want to get the basic functionality to work. The idea to work. So first of all we need to go back hmm How does this work? Okay, I have reverse iterators. Like if I have reverse r iterator equals and register dot r begin. R iterator equals iterator. Can I do this? No, I can't. Why? Why are they? Uh, okay. Iterator not equal to m register dot begin. If it is the same as the begin, that means it just failed on the first one. We don't need it to do this. Otherwise, we do need to kind of say, hey, you know, minus minus iterator. Whoops. We got to keep going backwards, and we got to say, hey, you know, um, iterator on destroy. New sim state dot get. Now this would also return error codes, so I don't really know what to do with this. I need to return something. created that y yeah that okay um, and then I need to have like mm -hmm. which will say something along the lines of error code dot message Okay.
okay if we have that otherwise yeah this looks good bunch of fun garbage hmm I think that logic is correct so we're going to have this now Now, in this case, we're going to have an error code on destruction. That's going to be a lot of not fun. So, actually, hold on. This... Hmm not error code we'll put the breaking message here error creating simulation state blah 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 error cleaning up failed create error while cleaning up from failed creation of simulation state so all the error codes get spat out and only on success do we get this Yeah, that makes a bit more sense. That's that's cleaner. So, okay, here we go. On the destroy simulation state, we go backwards. What's going on here? For finding the state. Yeah, given simulation state that wasn't created via blah, blah, blah. That's fine. De initialize just in case. So we need to... If... If initialized, then we need to de-initialize. Error code equals that. That's fine. Is the exclusive lock expected to be had by this point? Ah, that's not correct. This should be here. Then we go into here. Mm -hmm. Finding problems every day. Calls any destroys. We are work. We should be working backwards for one. So Iterator. I think plus plus is the way it's supposed to be going. Iterator on destroy. Iterator on destroy that. If error code. Hmm. Now this is interesting, actually, isn't it? On destruction, I'll get several error codes coming back out, but I might. So I need to... Ver uh, okay, yeah. Don't have one here. Rather, have one in here. For each error code, I spit out whatever the error is. So simulation... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Error while destroying simulation state. Blah... Blah. Error code. 
dot message. Okay. Mm, I'm missing the opening here. Do 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 do. Then I unlock everything. I destroy the name maps of the simulation state, which is now disconnected from nowhere. Did I remove it yet? I have removed it from here. Destroying stuff, destroying that, destroyed simulation state that. Okay, there is no actual way to fail this. Seemingly, for the moment. Although you'll have error codes during destruction, you can't actually fail this. I'll still leave the error code there because eventually I'm going to change this up somehow. Inevitably, I'll come back and go, oh no, I should have added the error code. I always do. Okay, same thing going on here. Uh, this error code, okay, no, this error code makes sense, first of all. We have an initialization, blah, 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 blah. We're going to, if not error code, then we get this stuff. Otherwise, this error has to go into here. This is the error code. Okay, due to error, that makes a bit more sense. Initialization. Error code, which should be for simulation success. Realistically, I can actually put this down here. I don't need it until that point. Similar for this. I'll have to do something similar to that. So to begin with, I need to auto register dot end. I also need the actual iterator as well to begin with. Don't begin. And I need to go through the old fashioned way like that. And iterator. Iterate through. Okay. So that covers that. Iterator that. Iterator that. If we run into an error while going through this. Then I need to go through and de-init the simulation, but I'm not going to use this function, which goes through and does all of them. I'm going to do my little fancy thing. Starting at the one I have. So very similar to this, it should be. Attached. Do, 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 do. And we got this. We're going to not have that. We're going to instead do this using on the initialization where we're going to have the P simulation state. And that here where failed to initialize error while cleaning up from failed initialization of simulation state due to error that okay if not error code we say hey we successfully did it we unlock we move on uh sim state unlock do i have to do that down here do i acquire
I don't acquire, do I? Acquiring the exclusive lock. Is this on a per... This is on the simulation state side, right? Yes, not for the global. The global... The global... This guy. M-Sync. Exclusively. Where do I actually call this guy? Register functionality. Yes. Deregister functionality. Okay. Creating simulation. Yes. And destroy. So I... Okay, I do already have the global lock when doing these things. Yes, I do. I'm not sure about this. Is does this even compile? I mean it it Clang D says it's not compilable. Or what's going on here? This is something else entirely. This is because Okay, make, make uh, faux simulation, go ahead. That's good. That's what I care about right now. Come back to that. If not initialized, we're going to do this. Require, and then we're going to have to call the end simulation. This should be moved around. Because what, where is this? This is just used here, right? Here, in destroy simulation. Mm hmm. Because I do call it in two locations. So that can actually stay as it is. But it does have to return something. I mean, does it? Yeah, it does. That it's going to return. <clears throat> return that all the time. Doesn't matter. Yet. Initializing. Initialized. We got that. So down here we have. Uh, it doesn't really matter here. Doesn't matter down here. Doesn't. Uh, it doesn't actually matter. It's just going to spit out. What it should do, though, is it should spit out the errors as we go through. And we should be going in reverse order. Then I need something that says, you know, uh, initializing error while deinitializing. But we just got, still got to go through them all, anyways.
Otherwise, it kind of goes into the void, which is unfortunate, but I can't really... Oh, I don't know how to return these things, really, otherwise. Yet. I'll figure it out one day. In the far-flung future. Now, this is basically the exact same thing as initialization. I need to do this, except... We go to here, then we go all the way down to here. Hold on. From acquire down, you do this. graphics deinitializing. Mm-hmm. Make sure I got the right ones. If oh crap, I need to do an if. Then I need to do these, otherwise... Now I need to do similar up here, right? If... This looks like it'd be similar. I kind of have to do the same thing. Except it's with the on graphics. Deinitialize. Okay. Pretty much the same thing. The info is blanked. Graphics session is blanked. Okay. Then that leaves uh, the requirement to uh, all the other functions need to start returning error codes. So let's find them. On create. What? Oh. So this is now no longer simulation state. This one needs to be true, like that. Right. Next. Success. Uh, 
I don't really know how this is going to return anything, but it'll have to return something. Probably. Those, yeah. Position. I don't even have an error code in this, do I? No, I do not. Okay, just return blank. I just want to get things working again for the moment so that I can just move on with other things. I know I'm not really adding the error codes correctly right now, but again, yeah, yeah, I just want to get the stuff. initialize And we're back down to the main application, so we're getting close to the end. Not quite. 
white. What's going on in here? <sighs> okay. Um, so this is. Uh, that's why I returned the pointers because I was trying to fit into this in the first place and it screwed me over. P, um, P temp. So we got that. Let's do this. Standard error code. C equals this. We have an end to that. Then I'd have to put this in there. Do I have an error code? I don't even have an error code here. I just need to return right away. Oh, I just crashed. Cool. So we save that. Let's restart it so we don't have a crashed Clang D. Mm -hmm. Illegal instruction. Why is it illegal? Hmm? I'm just playing old deinitializing stuff. And you're telling me that I presume this P system just doesn't exist, right? Mm hmm. It totally does. Sorry, go to the base type. Error count in account is zero. Yeah. Why? Is there so is there something else I missed on the way in? Verbose. Both warnings. There's no errors. Oh, not returning anything. Illegal instruction. Am uh, I missing something on this one? I probably am. Yeah, okay, that's why. It's expecting something and it's not getting it back out. So let's go back to here. Is there a yellow code here? No. Is there a yellow code in here? No. Is there a yellow code in here? No. Is there a yellow code in here? No. No. Okay. Do that again. We're clean, I presume. Build foe. Whoa. 24, 24. We've got more stuff now. Right? If I get stash, I would only have two items. And the deinitialization. 
So I'm missing something somewhere. Just not what I'm looking for. One, two, those two. Okay, yeah, I have a problem. Damn it! Let's do this again. Let's get this stuff out. Okay. <sighs> 24 from the ammo. This will be from the other 24 from the ammo. Okay, so we got this. Initialize graphics. Do I not call initialize deinitialize graphics? Is that the issue right now? As well as actually, is there an error in coming out? No. Curious. Initialize graphics, initialize. Okay, so these are both from initializing graphics, which means, so that probably means the rest of this stuff is from um, Mesa, I guess, doing something. So the problem is probably in simulation. It has to do with graphics deinitialization down here. If that, then this, mm -hmm. right? We are going through this, right? Really? Really? Are uh, really? What's going on here? Yo. Going into here? Did I in graphics initialization just forget to set? I did, didn't I? In the earlier version of this would have been in here somewhere. This. Did I forget to do it here? No, I did it up here instead. Hmm. Okay, see, only set this if that we exit out we got 125 allocations but it's a 24 24 and then these guys yes we're back to good state now I haven't actually got any tests for this kind of stuff to make sure it's incrementing decrementing these correctly but this is going to probably require some extra work I think because I have I plans on moving around where ref counts and init counts are. But for the moment, <sighs> source, 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 source. Okay. 
Okay, this is okay p okay create info where oh that's an old one uh da, 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 that's different now Got that. Mm -hmm. This was already returning, but it was already a error code. Just shifted the things around a little bit. Yeah, okay. Okay. Close all these. Let's reopen this. I had a bit of an idea for this. Register functionality, right? Error code is all the way down here. If error code, hmm. Do I just, I mean, it may return like a non simulation success type, which is a, be a bit weird. Okay, no, but that should work. If otherwise, return foe simulation success. That means I can that I don't have to initialize it, and I just move it down to about here, like that. Move these things around a little bit. Yeah. If error code and tt sim state not equal any states dot data. So if it's not the first one, then because if it's the first one failed, then that's it. We're right out the gate. In oh, hold on, error code right here. Hmm. Oh my. Okay. Okay. Right. I could be halfway down the simulation states and halfway through the initialization. Oh, no, sorry. Halfway through. The creations, or halfway through the initializations, or halfway through the simulation states. And I need to count for all these cases right here. Right now. Because this is registering new functionality. Okay. Okay, so it's not quite as bad. Okay, 
So it's not it's not it's actually nowhere near as bad as I thought. Okay. I need an error code right there. So error code equals that. Okay, if I have an error in initialization, I can just destroy locally here and just move to the sim state before. That'll work. Right. If that, then break out. If simulation is initialized and functionality on initialization, call this. If there's an error code at this point, then I need to go through for two things. First of all, I need to call <clears throat> if on deinitialize, no, on destroy, if on destroy, destroy. Right here. Which is another error code? Mm. to error or I need this stuff up here okay let me go through very carefully here error while creating Functionality on simulation state blah due to error blah. So it's this. Okay. Then we break out. Then we go to the error code stuff. On this case, we have an error code on initialization. First of all, we have to say, hey, we have an error while initializing functionality on that, right? On simulation state, blah, to do to blah. Then, I need another one. It goes along the lines of this. Another auto error code equals in here. This is just local into here. That's it. Error while destroying functionality on simulation state due to error. Because I created it, but I want to destroy it. I want to make sure it's clean. Or do I want to? I mean, I can do it together like this, right? Oh no, I'd have to add the graphics initialization here as well. Oh. Okay. Do I want to split this up into three different ones instead? I might. Let me grab a drink and think this over real quick. Okay. So, mm, this is a whole lot of not fun. So how does this work? How, yeah, can I, like, is there any way I can reuse some code? 
Not really. Because it just iterates on a single thing. It goes through all of them. And then that's the same thing going backwards. All... F Wait, hold on. All functionality. No, but this is it's going the opposite way. It's one set of functionality being added to all the items and then possibly removed. Okay, what if, hmm, what if, what if, what if, so, okay, this side isn't too bad, so I need to have to have, for one thing, I need to do this, right, if, Initialized. Something like that. It, on graphics, the initialization, I need to do that. It's graphics initialized, there we go. that right no maybe no we still need this Something like this, and I say past states. And I say, you know, created bool, created bool initialized, bool graphics initialized, initialized. Equals that, right? So if that, then I say, hey, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Past state, so for each one of these, locking the sim state, I'm resetting it, past states equals that. Past calls 
if this one is successful, then I say, hey, past states dot created equals true. If, let me get rid of this. Then we also need to call break on that, right? Dot initialized equals true. And then we'll have another one for graphics initialized data. Graphics. We don't have that, but we'll have this with graphics session. Did I actually misspell that the whole time? I'm, wow, I did. Okay, that, PP errors, PP sim state. Then we say, hey, this is graphics initialized. So if we have an error code and sim state is not equal that. Okay, no, it can possibly be that. Okay, this may be how I got around this, perhaps. So first of all, I need to do the current one. Initialize sim state. So if uh, past states dot graphics initialized, and then we just do yeah that and so on and so forth. Okay. We need to do this auto error code equals. Like that. Then we have if error code. We have, uh, have the error message that says, hey, you know. that okay then we go back to the other one and then we just do the full all three of them every time yeah and I need to do uh, no yes no because that would have been you know what just to be safe because I'll change it in the future then I'll be
if graphics initialize and function and initialize, okay. Hmm. Deregistering functionality is just the case of these. When I return an error code, but I need to be careful of. I still need to return logs. Fail to deinitialize functionality due to error or that. Oh, and I need to actually add one for graphics. Let's do some state. Initial Z. Need to fix that shortly. stuff in here. We need the error codes out here too. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is still all in the register if of register functionality. Attempt to register, attempt to re register, attempt to blah blah. Our exclusive lock, okay. And then we unlock it. Here I would have to do pp sim state sim unlock manually and I have to go through the rest of these. 
Mm-hmm. So that there's no chance of it being modified between here and here if there was a failure case. This is going to require quite a bit of... Uh, Require quite a bit of test cases for this to happen correctly. Fail to deinitialize graphics due to error. Fail to deinitialize. Fail to destroy due to error. Is initialized. Okay, I'll fix that. Secondly, new sim state. Okay, let's give this a go. Okay, I'm not going to confirm everything tonight. Like I need to, I need to do some tests offline, and it's going to take a while to figure out all the cases. But let's make sure at least I'm not having any. Memory leaks beyond the regular ones. No, I'm good for the moment. Okay, let's do that. Let's make sure we make the tests running as well. Okay. So I'll call it good on that. This is a fair bit more, isn't it? A few hundred extra lines. Not great. Not great. Okay. Fixed missing logic and added. Separated the graphics properly.
and issues do occur and bad. Better catch. Failures when finality. Okay, fine. Well, I'll just I'll just do it here. Missing logic in the simulation, blah 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 blah. Simulation, okay, okay, and that's that for now. This was only supposed to be like half an hour, but as usual, it always balloons into a whole bunch of other missing edge cases, as always. So that's that for this. Cheers. <laughs>